is Jim Simons, and why is he called the greatest trader on Wall Street? What were his strategies, and how can you apply his principles? Welcome, trading enthusiasts. Today, we have something truly extraordinary for you. We're about to embark on a journey into the world of finance, where we'll uncover the secrets behind the remarkable success of Jim Simons and his legendary medallion fund. Are you ready to learn how Jim Simon's trading strategies consistently achieved an astounding 66% annual return for over 30 years? So guys, Jim Simon's magic lies in data-driven strategies, a secretive team, and leverage yielding astonishing annual gains. You must be confused about this right now. Don't worry, we're going to unveil the secret sauce. So let's dive in. For those who don't know, Jim Simon's is an American mathematician, billionaire, hedge fund manager, philanthropist and the founder of Renaissance Technologies. He was born in 1938 and started his journey by studying mathematics at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. However, it was his later career that would leave an indelible mark on the world of finance. During the Cold War, Simons used his mathematical genius to work for the U.S. National Security Agency, NSA, where he contributed to code-breaking efforts. But what makes him so famous is that Jim Simons is known for his hedge fund manager. He was also elected to the National Academy of Sciences in 2014 for his math and finance contributions. In 1978, he left academia to start Monometrics. The hedge fund used both fundamental and technical approaches in a time when quant was unheard of. Simons realized that to achieve consistent success, he needed to eliminate the emotional roller coaster of trading. In the early 80s, he transitioned to a purely systematic approach. This shift was a turning point in his career. Now it's time to meet that Jim Simons, who was the mastermind behind Renaissance Technologies and owner of the Medallion Fund. Basically, Renaissance Technologies, a financial powerhouse, manages four funds. One, Renaissance Institutional Equities Fund. Two, Renaissance Institutional Diversified Alpha. Three, Renaissance Institutional Diversified Global Equity Fund. Four, and the one most famous of them all, the Medallion Fund. Among them, the Medallion Fund was closed to outsiders, and it shines the brightest, echoing Benjamin Graham's wisdom, investors profit for themselves, speculators and rich brokers. While the Medallion Fund does have external investors, it primarily serves insiders. This exclusivity has raised questions about whether they keep the best strategies for themselves. Perhaps, maybe it's true? Don't worry if you're sells in numbers-driven investing across a range of assets like stocks, futures, commodities, currencies, and even cryptocurrencies. They're unique because they hire experts in math and physics, known as quants, who play a crucial role in the group's remarkable success. These brilliant minds use data and calculations to make intelligent investment choices. So what is the secret sauce behind the Medallion Fund's extraordinary success? Renaissance managers rely on math and clever models to automatically predict and execute trades. They're hunting for patterns that the models flag as not just random chance. Now here's the catch. Jim Simons and his team keep their strategies tightly under wraps. They're masters of secrecy. And to make it even more challenging, they operate strictly by the book using quantitative methods without any subjective input. Yes, viewers, the best performing fund in the history of Renaissance Technologies is the Medallion Fund. From 1988 to 2018, it delivered an average annual return of a staggering 66.1% gross before fees. However, due to its profitability, it charges substantial fees to unit owners, resulting in a net return of only 39%. Now the million dollar question, what are these specific trading strategies employed by the Medallion Fund? Unfortunately, we don't know for sure, but here's the scoop. The Medallion Fund and Renaissance Technologies use 100% math-based tricks to rule the market. One, they find weird patterns that math proves. Two, computers are their best buddies, no second guessing. Three, data is gold, the more the merrier. Four, they skip the why and embrace the unknown. Five, they win around 51% of the time, no biggie. Six, trades stay hidden to dodge predictability. Seven, they play with leverage to supercharge their game. According to the words of greater trader on Wall Street, Jim Simons, the secret sauce is to have a bunch of bright people throwing ideas around. Add computer power and skin in the game into the mix, and you have some potent variables. Trading is all about backtesting trading ideas all the time. The whole strategy breaks down into just a few points. Follow signals, diversify strategies, trade actively, not passively. 
They're masters of short-term data-driven trades, pairs trading, and neutrality, powered by math and physics expertise. Why short-term? The strategy was clear. They needed massive data sets to find meaningful patterns. For example, for annual data, they only have 100 observations over 100 years. This is too little to make any significant models, and thus they look for short-term patterns involving massive data sets. But the real trick? Knowing when to stop, avoiding the compounding limit. Trading lovers, have you ever heard of this masterpiece book by Gregory Zuckerman? This book highlights the enigmatic Jim Simons and the history of the medallion fund. However, it reveals few of Simon's trading secrets due to the manager's secrecy. Simon's himself has maintained a low profile and hasn't published trading insights, likely to safeguard his strategies from public view. But for you guys, we've summarized the main takeaways from the book. In the 1970s, James Simons faced early struggles in trading, as his strategies needed more practical experience and were too focused on commodities. Despite their, Simons, Axe, and Baum mathematical expertise, Simons and his team needed a deeper understanding of the markets. They initially had trust issues with their strategies and often interfered, causing setbacks. The turning point came in 1988, when Simons launched the Medallion Fund, aiming to use vast data to create strategies across various markets and timeframes for diversification. In the early 1990s, the breakthrough occurred with the hiring of Bob Mercer and Peter Brown from IBM. But it was in the 2000s that they truly hit the jackpot in stock trading. Mercer became well known for his involvement in politics in 2016, which eventually led to him leaving the company in 2017. In Gregory Zuckerman's book, The Man Who Solved the Market, he provides us with a fascinating look at the annual returns of the legendary medallion fund managed by Jim Simons and his team. This table shows us how the fund performed over the years. The first column represents the year starting from 1988 to 2018. The second column, returns before fees percentage, shows the fund's performance before any fees were deducted. The third column, management fee percentage, indicates the price charged for managing the fund. The fourth column, performance fees percentage, represents the fees based on the fund's performance. Now let's get to the exciting part, the net return. In the fifth column, net returns percentage, we see the actual returns investors received after all fees were taken into account. And finally, the last column shows the size of the fund in millions of dollars. What's truly remarkable is the consistent outperformance of the Medallion Fund. For instance, in 1990, it delivered a staggering 55% net return despite management and performance fees. Over the years, it continued to provide impressive returns, even during challenging times in the financial markets. It's important to note that most of the fund's investors are its own employees, including Jim Simons himself, whose estimated wealth is in the range of 20 to $30 billion. Other key figures, often referred to as the lieutenants, like Peter Brown and Bob Mercer, are also believed to be billionaires, thanks to the fund's extraordinary success. The Medallion Fund always used substantial leverage, often 10 times or even 20 times its equity, which contributed to its remarkable returns. However, in 2007, the fund faced a dire situation. They narrowly escaped a crisis when a group of stocks suddenly dropped in value, forcing them to provide additional collateral to prevent a forced sale. They were on the brink of margin calls and the banks could have suffered significant losses. It was a close call. And had the market not turned in their favor, Medallion might have met a similar fate to LTCM. Luck played a crucial role in their escape from this tail risk scenario, sparing them and preventing potential ripple effects in the financial system. What can we learn from Jim Simon's incredible journey? It's not just about math. It's about persistently seeking opportunities and embracing quantitative strategies. Trading often and diversifying across markets and time frames is critical. Simons emphasizes that there's no data like more data. Also, always appreciate the power of math over intuition. The Medallion Fund's success lies in the pursuit of anomalies and the magic of compounding. For those eager to dive deeper into this Jim Simon story, The Man Who Solved the Market by Gregory Zuckerman is a must-read. Although it doesn't reveal all the trading strategies, it offers valuable insights. From the early struggles to the breakthrough in the 1980s and the importance of data-driven decision-making, there's much to glean from this fascinating book. In conclusion, let's apply some of Jim Simon's principles to your own trading journey. Trade often, 
diversify your strategies, and focus on market-neutral portfolios. Remember, the more data, the better. And don't waste time asking why the market moves as it does. Leverage can amplify returns but also risk. Always be open to learning, collaborating with the best, and persisting through challenges. These principles can pave the way for your success in the world of finance. And there you have it, an in-depth exploration of Jim Simon's trading strategies and the incredible journey of the Medallion Fund. If you found this video enlightening, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content on finance, investing, and the secrets of success. Thank you for being with us today, and until we meet again, may your trades be profitable.